and welcome! My name is Eva and today we have some makeup products to test. Woo! Excitement! So today Nabla side-by-side -side collection. I have full collection, so we're gonna have some fun this November. Of course, first product is side-by-side -side nude, ooh, ooh, shiny packaging, side-by-side <laughs> -side nude palette. Also, Ruby Lights glitter palette, and this is the packaging. I think packaging is stunning, even though this is only a box. And six lip liners, lip pencils. These are Nabla close-up lip shaper. Six shades, gorgeous shades. I haven't touched any of those things yet. So here's the palette and it's very nice and Mm, with very nice texture. It's not smooth. It's um, more like mm, Like this <laughs> This palette contains 16 eyeshadows and it's higher than a dreamy so blooming dreamy 2 palette and here is the palette. It's so elegant and mm. Can't wait to use it. Next is Nabla Ruby Lights Glitter Palette. Ah, the lights. Oh, here it is. And this is second palette from this line, Glitter Palette. First glitter palette was uh, Miami Lights. I know already those glitters, but I will with pleasure again test them for you and show them. And Nabla Close Up Lip Shapers, so lip liners, lip pencils in all six shades. They are just regular lip pencils, so they require sharpener. If you are new here and you're just passing by, don't worry, I'm not gonna talk to you till your death. <laughs> Down below in the description box are all timestamps that you need, so if you need close-ups, makeup and final thoughts or stuff, go check down below description box there's all you need so now i'm going to apply my p louis base and meanwhile you're going to watch some close-ups and swatches and this collection in whole its glory I'm more than ready, so without any further ado, I'm taking shade Rarity. Rarity is a unicorn from My Little Pony. <laughs> Alright, this is matte bay shade, so as always, I'm setting my underbow area. It's a little bit darker than my eye base, 
However, it's not too dark for me. I'm Fenty 100, so I think this is mm, very similar shade to Fenty, to my <laughs> foundation shade. I think I'm gonna use it to set my underbrow area. I like it. It's not as light beige as I usually use, but it's sufficient. I'm taking shade Burnt Sienna and I'm starting from my outer corner. Today I only want to test these shades, so makeup will be simple. It's super creamy and pigmented. I'm spreading it around a little bit, also outer corner on my lower eyelid and I'm connecting it with upper eyelid, of course. Now I'm taking shade half time and I'm going to blend this shade. Oh, very nice and very light shade. Very nice. Gorgeous transition shade. I wanted to say that I'm going to blend this dark shade above my crease. Biscuit. This is biscuit shade, but very welcome one. As always, these shades are very, very creamy. They are, of course, not creamy shades, but they work like creamy shades. They're very smooth and easy to blend. And in touch, they are very soft and very creamy. It's pure pleasure. I'm going back to this brush that I used before with this darker brown. I'm not adding more shade, I'm just using what I have on this brush and on my eye to blend both these shades even more. But actually, I don't need to do much. Those shades blend by themselves. They don't need me. So, of course, today I'm not going to test every single shade, but I will try to test as many shades as I can. So I'm taking shade Bonjour, and it's also a very pretty light and transition shade, and I'm applying it here, in my inner part, above my crease. It's more like rosy, peachy shade. Now I'm taking Cedar Wood with brush, and I'm applying this shade in my outer part of my eyelid. Oh yes, you're gorgeous. Very nice. Very nice shade. Now I'm taking shade Better Society. And this shade is so stunning. <laughs> so I'm going to apply it on my eyelid here next to this next to this cedar wood. Oh yeah, that's multi-dimensional shade. And that's that's wet effect. <laughs> and as you can see, it works with brush without any issues. There is no or very little fallout. And because this wet shade has some mm, pinkish reflects, I think, so in my inner part, I'm taking shade Magic Moment and I'm applying it here. And my inner part, of course, blending with with this wet shade. This magic moment shade is magic. <laughs> if you laughed, that means you watched Mr. Bean. <laughs> now I'm taking shade Tempra, which is very dark brown shade. And I'm applying it in very small amount in my outer corner. Oh yes, there you are. Oh, very nice. There you go. Not much. I know that everyone wants me to use this gold shade, so here we go. I'm taking shade Paradiso. It means paradise, of course, but in Italian. So there we go, and on my whole lower <gasps> eyelid. Mm. I love Nabla's eyeshadows because I don't need any extra glitter primer or stuff. These 
metallic foils and 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 celestial shades and all that stuff just stick to my eyelid by themselves without any help and I absolutely love it. Now I'm taking Ray of Light as my inner corner highlighter. I'm also using this shade as my under brow highlight. And now because I have also this uh, ruby lights <laughs> glitter palette, I'm going to use shade Capricorn, so this gold glitter, and I'm going to apply it without any base on this gold on my lower eyelid. More in the inner part. Yeah, this is sufficient. No need to add any more. I didn't use any extra glitter glue or base under this glitter. However, as you can see, it sticks to my eyelid. So yeah, that's true. You don't need eye base to apply it. However, I like to use some kind of glitter glue for glitters, even though um, for this palette it's not necessary. Now I'm going to apply some lashes to my face and I'm going to show you lip liners. Face is done, of course all details what I have on my face are down below in the description box and now it's time to test these lip liners. But <laughs> Lip liners. Close up lip sharper. <laughs> And I choose two colors, shade 1 and 4, these two, uh, and I'm going to use them all over my lips, so not only as lip liners, but also as my lipstick. <laughs> I'm going to do ombre. So I'm going to start with shade 4 and outer corners. They are very creamy. And number one here. I outlined my lips horrendously, so you can see both liners, how they look like. And I'm impressed. They are very creamy, very precise. Uh, also, when I swatched them on my uh, arm, I had some issues with taking them off, so nice. As lipstick, also very pretty colors, absolutely. This is nude. Of course, I'm going to use all of them. Especially, I really am curious about the darkest one, because I love colors like this one. So, that will be next videos, <laughs> don't worry. So I think now it's the time for final thoughts. Let's talk about lip pencils. Very creamy, as I said, and very precise. I believe they are waterproof or at least very long lasting. Six shades. I will test all of them, of course, and uh, probably I will record with them a lip swatch video. So eventually you'll see all shades in action. Now let's talk about uh, glitter palette, Ruby Lights glitter palette and these glitters are like in in some sort of gel so actually you don't need any base to just put them they work better with fingers than with brush and I know it because I have the previous palette so Miami Lights palette and this is the same formula of course they work better with finger than with brush but if you use some glitter primers so or some base for glitters, then they work gorgeously with brush because brush catches them very nice. But the, the issue is 
how they stick to your eyelid. As you can see on my eyelid right now, on lower eyelid, this uh, glitter is there and there is no fallout, but there was a fallout when I was applying this shade. Still, I believe that these colors are very pretty and very holiday-like. So for Christmas, for New Year's Eve, mm, mm, very nice shades. Of course, this palette is nice accessory to side-by-side uh, -side nude palette to this whole collection because we actually don't have as much vibrant shades in this main, let's say, palette. So if you want to add some colors to your life, this palette maybe is for you. Uh, now about side-by-side -side palette. It's absolutely very gorgeous and nice palette and of course very elegant. Today I used 10 shades out of 16, so I think that's a nice score. If you don't know Nabla's formula, then let me tell you that mattes are very, very creamy and applying them is a pure pleasure. Smooth, flawless, nice blending, light cream shades, very pigmented, flawless on eyes. So I very much like this formula. Here we also have some metal shades, foils, and I believe that uh, this one is celestial shade, so more like topper shade. Of course, I love foils. Foils are very blinding, uh, and uh, I love also this metallic shade, and uh, as you saw, very little fallout. And this was my fault, I am not very careful with shades, that's why I always do my eyes before face, because I don't like to be careful with that. So, fallout wasn't very big, was very small actually, or there was no fallout at all. Also, there is no issue to take them with brush, that's nice that the, these shimmer shades, no matter if it's a foil shade or metal shade, these shades just work with brush and that's amazing. You don't need any base, you don't need your fingers, you just need your brush and you can see that my eyelids are like wet. Gorgeous formula! With color story, it's of course up to you. I really enjoy it. Besides Cutie Platinum palette, this is the first Nablas palette that is more cool toned than warm toned. And I personally really enjoyed it. So now let's talk about the future. Of course, the future with this collection. Duh. <laughs> so in the next videos... Oh, ah. <laughs> In the next videos I'm going to play with this collection, so we are not going to stop this review series <laughs> until we use all 16 shades. I will use all 6 shades that remained in this palette in the next video and then we're gonna play with this palette just because we can also with those uh, glitter <laughs> glitter palette and of course I'm going to also uh, also also, also <laughs> um, record video with lip swatches with those uh, lip liners and yeah that will be our plan for November also this Monday um, so today for you uh, I'm going to or I received already I have no idea, this is past, hello, ooh, fourth wall. <laughs> so I received, or I'm going to receive, Wicked Palette by Unicorn Cosmetics, so if the weather will be okay and I'm going to find some time, then maybe this week will be like extra video with this palette. So don't worry, there will be video with Nabla, but maybe the, in this week you're gonna have three videos, not only two maybe stay in contact with me especially on instagram this is my place to inform you about stuff but also on twitter facebook uh, sucks <laughs> all right so that will be it let me know what you think about this collection if you maybe bought something from this collection let me know what's uh, your favorite shade from side by side palette or glitter palette or what's your favorite product and of course as always uh, i love you very very much and i see you soon bye